Yeah, so, I'm just gonna do the intro then. Yeah, I know the intro there, isn't that, wasn't that fun? <laughs> you heard me tell him, prepare him, that I actually should have key. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I have Bluetooth headphones today. I, I've always had Bluetooth headphones, I just never used them on the... I need to start talking clearly. I've just never used them on the laptop because I don't know why. I, I like wires and Bluetooth seems to mess with my Wi-Fi, but I think it's going okay now. And Nick hasn't talked in a while, so I'm probably going to regret saying that. Yes, because why? Is you, you want to know why? You want to know why? You want to know why? 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 Because we need to start the questions right now. <laughs> why is that? Right. Fuck now. Because do you want this video to be an hour long? <laughs> do I? I never remember saying that, but okay. Um. Yeah, so yeah, we're doing the Q&A, like we promised. We got a few questions. And, uh, we got five. We got five. five? I thought it was four. So that's one more, more than I thought, four. but yeah. Right. And we even asked on Facebook for questions and we all got his likes and I was like, yeah, that's helpful, thanks. So, uh -huh. load. I need to turn these up. Yeah, props to the guys in Save Jack and Baxter. Yeah. <laughs> Load of likes. No questions. Yeah. <laughs> very, very helpful. Throughout the video, I'll periodically check it and make sure and see if anyone fucking... Yeah. Maybe if I post something like, Hey guys, we're doing it <laughs> right now! Post your questions! Yeah, that, Maybe that, it'll get traction. Do that. Like, yeah. I gotta be famous! Yeah. Oh, this mission's gonna be a dickhead. Holy shit. Oh my god, it's gonna be hard. Oh no, I could. Yes, it is. You could just fly over yeah. everything and skip this. So anyway, oh, so I'm doing fly. that. So while Keith's doing that, and doing that nice and quietly, and like shutting the fuck up, which he's already failing at, <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys the questions Oops. from the people. Okay? The people! Right, so, people power. the first question, the first question is by Jaded Darkness. Hello, Jaded Darkness. Um, thanks for, thanks right, for all the comments. You uh, you've been commenting a lot. You're a regular loyal viewer. I really appreciate it. Thanks very much. I didn't know that. Hi. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Whoops. Forgot to leave this question here. Where do you think the series should go if it comes back? Should we answer the first question or should I just say the whole thing out? Uh, uh, say the whole thing out and then answer the first question again. Alright, so. Should it be a direct sequel, prequel, or a few years later, etc.? Also, who are your top five favorite characters from the series, besides the duo? Okay, so let's answer your first question first. Um, I'll go first because he's asking me, let's face it. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, uh, for me, if Night Nog were ever to make another Jack game, or any developer is ever to make another Jack game, I just, I hope to God it's a sequel. I just want a sequel because I am sick and tired of reboots and prequels and things that, oh, it could have happened this way in alternate universes and shit like that. Everything does that and they run out of ideas. Every fucking thing. And doesn't, I just, I'm sick of it right now. It's fine, but it's just, it's not for me anymore. And I, it's done to death and I just don't want that to happen to Jack. I don't want it, like, if, if they're gonna make a reboot with Jack, then of course I'll be happy. I love Jack. I mean, Jack's my favorite game of all time. I'd love to make a reboot, but I wouldn't be fully happy with it. And um, I'd play it and all, but I like, it, it's never. If you make a reboot with Jack, you're never going to beat the first game or the second game or the third game. You're never going to beat him. Even a sequel won't beat them. But at least we'll see what happened next in the story, you know. Um, right. And people consider they like, if we consider the Last Frontier sequel, then okay, well done, good for you. But... Good for you. <laughs> yeah. Claps, claps for you. Well, what you were going off of there with like saying about like alternate dimensions and shit, you know? Yeah. It's like this is what would happen if this way or that way. Yeah. It's like they have. It's like it's not even that they're out of ideas. It's like that's a perfect idea for a sequel. You're just too afraid to make it an actual sequel. Yeah. And sometimes they're actually really good, but we can't ever count them as canon. You know, what I would love actually you know? the way Mortal Kombat done it. So Mortal Kombat Nine, they uh, it was kind of a reboot, but it was a direct sequel as well. So basically, like Raiden, um, go like he's getting his arse kicked by Shao Kahn and. Uh, he, he's like, this is like at the very end of the game before Armageddon. This is at the very end of Armageddon. And Shao Kahn is like about to win and about to fucking destroy the world or whatever. And Raiden like gets this thing and sends it back in time. And he's like, he must win. And then it sends it back in time and goes back in time to the first game. And it's still a sequel, but you're changing things. With the I thought that was done perfectly. And if Jack done something like that, I'd be definitely on board with that. Ah, definitely. So second question. I have no idea. I'm still stuck in the first place. Thing. Oh, who cares, dude? We're still on the first question. Dude, okay. we got plenty more. <laughs> um, oh, plenty more. You know, we got, we're got we so backed up with questions here. Uh, <laughs> um, 
Um, I guess I'll do my part of the second. I guess we'll just take turns. Yeah. Or whatever. So there we go. That, think, that, why is that uh, so hard? Jesus Christ. So basically, my uh, thing with if if it was to come back, where it should go, I think. Uh, well, I've said it before in a video previously, or like an hour-long video, the Jack and Baxter fan theory one. Uh, I'll leave the link but, in the description uh, if I remember. Look. Yeah, you... I'm sure yeah. you've all seen. Oh, fuck, why did I do that? I'm not concentrating. So basically what mine is, is kind of like, it would be a little bit of a prequel and a sequel. So that's all I'm going to say about that, because I'm not going to get into it too in depth, because it's already out there, kind mm -hmm. of. Um... But yeah, definitely. And Keith was pretty spot on with everything else he said. I'm sick and tired of them saying, oh, what if we go this way? Or what if we go into this way? Or what if this happened instead of this happening? I really wish that they would just have a fucking sequel out. Yeah. And like Keith said, it's probably not going to be better than the original tr trilogy. And probably, me and Keith, knowing us, will probably fucking hate it at first and then just slowly fucking start loving it more and more and more and more. And then it's eventually like, it'll be actually, a favorite no, I think, game and then it will be. <laughs> I think we love it at first and then slowly start hating it because that's what happened with Ratchet and Clank reboot. <laughs> well, with me, that's because I played it five fucking times in a row. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know... The, yeah. I mean, I love the Ratchet and Clank reboot at first, but then, like, the more I play it, the more I'm like, I just want to play the first game. Mm -hmm, exactly. And I kind of... But let's just face it, anything's better than Full Frontal Assault. So. Yeah. <laughs> there's, that, there's that favorite grace, so... Um, yeah, so, I mean, that, that pretty much sums up that part of the question. The second part of Jaded Darkness's question is, who are your top five favorite characters mm -hmm. from the series? Okay, so this is going to be hard. All right. Okay, fine. I'm going to go from order from, like, uh, least favorite favorite to favorite favorite, if that makes sense. <laughs> so, um... Uh, all right. Um, let's start off... Okay, Baron Praxis, number five. His I favorite know. character's crew. Oh really? Cool. Uh, I was gonna get to him. Spoiler alert. But uh, actually, no. You know what? Five is crew. Um, I love crew. I think he's a fat bastard, amazing character. I think he's a great um, secondary um, villain or whatever. He's kind of like he's just an ant. You don't know what he is. I mean, obviously he turns out to be a villain by the end. But he's not like. I don't think he's uh, eternally bad. He's just like he just doesn't care. He's just in it for himself. He's just really selfish. Um, so yeah, crew is a really great and deep character. Uh, number four, Baron Praxis. Baron Praxis, very complex character again. At, at the start, you just think, oh, he's just a generic fucking screaming bad bastard that just is a propagandic and uh, fascist leader. But by the end, like he really redeems himself, and by the end, like, like he was just doing what was best for his city, what he thought was best for his city, you know. Uh, so yeah, Baron Praxis, number four. I love Baron Praxis. Uh, number three, Damus. Uh, Damus was a, a great, um, a great uh, addition. Uh, usually, when they add characters so late, they just don't, um, they did, they don't fit in well. Um, but uh, Naughty Dog seemed to be really good doing that actually, because they done the same on Chart Four, and Sam was a great character, even though he's just added in at the very end. So yeah, um, I really like Damus. Damus was awesome, uh, and he was a great character. Uh, again, like Baron Praxis, you don't know if he's good or bad at the start, but then later you see, yeah, he's definitely good. Uh, he's just a really harsh leader and a really good leader. It's just like fair practice. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Um, Make the city great again. <laughs> uh, where am I? Uh, number two. Um, number two. Sig. Um, yeah. Would I say no? Mm. Okay. We need. We need. What well, these are my top five, but we definitely because I'm leaving out a lot of people here. But yes. No, Torn, number two. Uh, I've put Sig at number six. Uh, Torn, because Torn's awesome. He's a badass. He's a, a, gri a grizzly, um, a grizzly, grizzly tough man. <laughs> grizzly, I, that's a gravelly tough man, I meant to say. What Keith's trying to say, he's like a piece of steak that you like just right. A little bit of grizzle, but awesome inner center, sweet center with a lot of blood. <laughs> Something like that. He's delicious. <laughs> yeah. He's delicious. Oh, so Keith what? right now is in a moment of deep concentration so he can't yes. talk. Oh my god, you're gonna die. No, no. Oh, saving grace. Do you have any light, Eco? <laughs> no. Oh, Jesus.
All right, all right. Uh, concentration, concentration. Yes, you push something out there. Yes, my dog is being a dickhead as usual. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um. Oh Jesus Christ! What's your what's what's the number one character key? Uh, number one, Samus. I love Samus. Oh. Um, yeah, Samus is my favorite secondary character. He's just so uh. He's a grouchy old bastard, but he's why I love wise old men in video games. It's just and anything in general. I just I, I don't know. What do you better. think his best role? What do you think his best role is? In which game? Um, Sage in Jack One. I think he's my favorite in Jack One. Yeah. He's just so mysterious and uh, yeah, I really like Samus. More grouchy. Yeah. A lot more grouchy. Yeah. Oh, that was all right. I thought that was, I was expecting that to be much harder. Wow, you did it. Mm -hmm. You fucking did it. Mm. Alright, next question. Oh wait, wait. Uh, uh, does he have any more? My turn. Oh yeah, your it's turn. Sorry, turn. sorry. I'm not. I, I'm. I'm just you know little old insignificant me here. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the same thing. Least favorite to favorite favorite. So. Um. Five number five for me. Least favorite secondary key character. I'm gonna go Pecker. 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 I love Pecker to death. He's a great fucking character. Adds a very nice, uh, uh, I guess you could say, uh, well, you know, like, Onan's kind of like a mute, you know, kind of like Jack was in the first game, and Pecker adds a nice character to Onan, you know? Mm. He's kind of like the shadow sidekick, the secondary fucking duo in the game, you know? So, I really fucking enjoy, uh, I really enjoy Pecker, and just his, he's just always, it's like, he's Daxter's arch and enemy and yeah. shit, you know, just always going back and forth at each other, like, oh, look at me, look what I can do now, and then Daxter's always like, ah, shut your face, you know, <laughs> just all, all the time, just amazing, so, you know, I always love that. Um, my, uh, my next... So you I don't like doing this in the morning? <laughs> Alright, where we'll were we? Fuck's sake, where were we? I'll just start, continue from here. Alright. Yeah, so, yeah, like I said, my uh, favorite, uh, my fourth favorite character would be Cleaver. Mm. Definitely would be Cleaver. I love Cleaver. I love him because he's also mysterious. You don't really know if he's good or bad. And he's just, I love his, I love his accent, his really horrible Australian <laughs> accent or New Zealand accent, one of the two. And just his whole fucking character is amazing. He's like that nasty fucking cheeseball guy who works down at the fucking boiler room shop and shit and like comes home and takes his pants off and shit and like takes a fucking Nick, can I, can I just like a request here because this is going to annoy me for the rest of it. Would you just uh, move away from your fan or something? Because like your fan is like overshadowing your voice. Okay, hold on. I'll just turn it off. Actually. There. Right, that should sure. fix a lot of problems. That should fix a lot of problems. But yeah, but yeah, Cleaver to me is like that guy who would pull a nacho chip out of his fucking pants and a fucking burger out of his couch and sit and watch old TVs while he unzips out of his woman suit. Like he's just that creepy fucking character who has like a dark side, like total potentiality, like serial killer material. Mm. I just love him to death. He's amazing. Um, and the fact that he wanted to eat Daxter. <laughs> that he's just an amazing character uh three for me would be samos definitely would be samos yeah. samos grouchy bastard love him in the first game character kind of diminished within the second and the third game but i still enjoyed him nonetheless especially other than the first game the second game when you had both both sides the young yeah. samos and the old samos bickering back and forth always enjoyed that to death uh let's see here uh second character um i ooh, i'm getting into the to the to the Top one, top top. The top top one. So the second one. Let's see here. My second favorite this is character. Crazy shit. Jesus Christ. Just answering these fucking questions is fucking crazy. I don't even know what mission you're doing. Oh, I know what mission you're doing. Oh my god, um, this is insane. <laughs> so I'd say my second character would be. Um. Jesus Christ. Nick is second a oh, Dark Jack was right there, god damn it. Nah, you'll get there next time, don't sweat it. <laughs> um, uh, I've never seen- holy shit, I've never seen that Daxter one. Um, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look forward to rewatch that one a minute. This, this, this has gotten- this has fucking, like, got me. <laughs> really? The second character? Like, who the fuck is the second character? Like, he's like the middle child that everyone forgets. Um. Uh. Vin. 
Oh, Vin. how did I forget that? Vin? Fucking Boy, he's love like number Vin. six or seven. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love Vin. He's an amazing character, and just absolutely love love his character entirely. He's the crazy psych psychopathic fucking <laughs> crazy he tech guy, completely sanitary. <laughs> huh? He reminds you of me. Eh, he's a little more smarter than you. True. And a little more annoying. <laughs> so, and, you know, and he's more sexy than you. Of course. Just look at that figure. Of course. <laughs> okay, anyways, um... What was that? So, I have no idea. <laughs> just, uh, you know, just, you know, put the augment, augment the volume on that and let everyone hear my shitty mumbling and we'll go okay. on with our day. <laughs> um, so, okay, so my last character is probably going to be a complete cop-out complete and utter cop-out for a secondary character. And what I mean by that is because it's two characters in one. Because you can't have one without the other. Okay. You ready for this? Go on. My favorite out of all of the characters is Gordy and Willard. Really? Absolutely what the fucking fuck? Of them so much. Every single fucking time <laughs> I see them on the screen, I bust out fucking laughing uncontrollably. Oh my god. Just because their character development is so well in the small amount of time that they have, they are the most amazing fucking characters I've ever seen. Okay. <laughs> I just, you, you have a guy with a fucking flame on his head mm -hmm. and a guy with a bird as a brain. Hence the term bird brain. It's fucking yeah. their character, their fucking voices are just oh, God, I think we are visitors. You think Willard. I just I fucking love them. Ah. So that's mine. That's mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go into the next question. Oh thanks for your uh, thanks for your question, Jade Darkness. Really enjoyed that. Yes. Nice, you killed some time in the video. <laughs> thanks Thank for, you. Thanks for your support, and uh, yeah. Definitely. We'll keep up the good work. Mm, and we hope to see you around for the next video. Next so. series. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I tried to Maybe you should, uh, <laughs> in the next video, or in this video, you should comment if you're satisfied with our answers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not satisfied with your answer, redo it. Redo it. Okay, fine. <laughs> we need shit to do. <laughs> Why not? So, um, next question is my Space Blazer. Oh, good. Okay, before yeah. we get to this, go and subscribe to Space Blazer's channel if you want. He does amazing videos. He's uh, he is a great YouTuber. Uh, he does a really insightful video. Like his latest, well, the latest one I watched was um, what the fuck was it again? It was uh, about nostalgia goggles and why they're considered bad and shit. And like, he's like, no, they're not bad. It's an amazing video. Go watch it. Go watch all his videos. He does great work. Oh, I see. And Keith, with your shitty screenshot, have me trying to move my fucking cursor over. <laughs> so fucking oh, I, had, I took a picture right. on PS4 and I had my cursor on it on the PS4 browser over the over the image. Thank God I could fucking read it. So here we go. This one's by Space Blazer. Uh, what is your overall goal on YouTube? Do you oh, want okay. to inspire Naughty Dog to make another Jack game, allow you allowing you to die happy? Or is it something far grander? I have a suspense. I love this question. Um, okay, can you read that again, bit by bit? What is your overall goal on YouTube? Right, so basically, I've never said this before. Um, I this, it's time to reveal this. It's time to reveal this. Um, reveal time. Da, da, da. <laughs> basically, what I see my YouTube channel as, and the reason I made my YouTube channel, was because I wanted this to be a time capsule. Something that I look back on and I'm like 30 or fucking 50 years old or whatever, not that my YouTube channel's still gonna be up by then with all the copyright shit I have on it. But still, um, I wanna look back at this when I'm older and see like what kind of fucked up shit I got up to and what kind of, what was I into when I was young and what was, what were my hobbies, what were my interests, what, what did I enjoy doing? And I enjoy doing yes. YouTube of course. I love Jack and Dexter still to this day. Um, because because some somehow Keith can see into the fucking future yeah. and realizes that he's gonna have dementia and like yeah. too far gone Alzheimer's or some shit. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But yeah, that's basically it. It's a time capsule, and my channel is a time capsule, and that's that's what I said from day one. What it's going to be, and then I kind of changed it. I was like, oh, I want to make this my job, so I started doing shitty fucking <laughs> crappy videos, and then they've since been unlisted. You can still see it. if you want a link to these shit videos, you can get them. Just ask me. 
Uh, but yeah, then I was like, what the fuck am I doing? That's not me. I'm not a clickbaity bastard. I'm not a view whore. I'm not a mic whore. So uh, I stopped doing that. Not that I ever liked whore or anything. I just I got, just done clickbaity videos for a while. And I was like, that's not me. That's not what I want my channel to be. So I stopped doing it. And now I just do what I want to do. I do what I do for fun. Mm -hmm. Taking good control. Mm -hmm. so, and my goal of YouTube is much more nobler. I think he's much more. I just want to get rich off of you, Pris. <laughs> <laughs> Such a. At least you're honest. No, but, no, but really, no. That's 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 like a very secondary goal. Like something like that's everybody's dream. You know, my my goal kind of goes more with Keith's idea. You know, I'm on this channel for the same exact reason. You know, kind of in a way, kind of catalogs me and Keith's friendship a little bit. Like when we first started talking and shit, and you'll notice how I just progressively become more. He more seeded okay. himself into a chat into the channel like fucking a woodworm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, I've been suckling off every bit of its greatness. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like a parasite. <laughs> Just give me a few more months, Keith, and I'll be bursting out of your chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm actually kind of scared of that. That's true. Anyway, next part of the question. <laughs> Alright, next part of the question. Do you want to inspire Naughty Dog to make another Jack game? Yes. Um, basically, mm. yeah. And uh, we've nearly, we've, um... I mean, I honestly, I'm not thinking like, I'm not saying that, oh, I'm great because I've done this, but Andy Gavin and Jason Rubin liked the first episode of Jack Tree No Guns because I sent it on Twitter and they're like, oh, that's cool, and liked it. I'm sure they didn't watch it, but it's still nice that they know that this Let's Play exists. Not that that's really should, cool. Uh, you should, uh, um, you should give people proof, seriously. Oh, yeah, I'll give just put it up on the screen. <laughs> put it up on the screen. I have a screenshot, yeah. I'm never going to delete that screenshot. That's like yeah. the screenshot of Love Yes. Yeah. Just yeah, those, two those two names. Those two names. And like, oh yeah. my god, like, they like your video, I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, literally, Keith, Keith called me up, like, late at night, like, it was literally, like, it was, like, 6 o'clock at night for me, but for him, that's, like, 11 at night, and he was, like, all tired and sleep depressed, and he was, like, Nick, and I was, like, oh, this better be something fucking good, and he was, like, and he got me, like, my video, and I was just, like, what? And just, like, people started screaming and shit, and he was, like, yeah. So, and then uh, the next day... <clears throat> or a day after, or whatever, whenever it was. Um, mm. I called Nick again, and I was like, Nick! Jason Rubin liked my video! <laughs> <laughs> no, the whole thing happened again, <laughs> and we just lost our shit. <laughs> and so, basically, the next reaction. part, allowing... And it basically, the next the next part of the question, allowing you to die happy, we already will die happy, knowing yeah. that they noticed us. So, I mean... <laughs> But uh, still, go. yeah, if Jack, if for Jack 4, if a new Jack game was made in general that was like a proper Jack game and not a PSP game, uh, or a fucking PS no. All-Stars, or a fucking PlayStation yep. Move Heroes, um, I could, I'd be happy. Like, a Jack fan in me just wants more Jack. I mean, I love the first, tr the first four games, and uh, Last Frontier, I've never, we're going to get to a question about Last Frontier, so I'm not going to say much about it yet. But, um, yeah, I, I love, um, I love the Jack games to date, they're my favourite games of all time, I just want more of it, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that's about it. Yeah, yeah thanks for your no, questions today, Slazer, and once again, uh, go, go to his channel, he's a great channel. There's, there's one more little thing about it, it's like, or is it for something grander? Oh, is it for something grander? If I do ever get bigger, and I do ever get like, I don't know, like, fucking, I don't know, like a few thousand subscribers is really what I want, it's really my goal at the moment, just like, have a little nice community, like I do now, um, I like the community we have with these Jack videos, like, very few comments, very few, for everyone's so nice to each other, like, and everyone's like, no one's an arsehole, everyone just gets along, and uh, I'd like, I'd like more of that, pretty much, and, uh, I don't know if I want to be like a massive, like, 5 million subscriber YouTuber, because then you just get dickheads, and you have to fucking do more, and it's just more like of a headache. twice the size of fucking PewDiePie. <laughs> But, um, uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, if we ever did get that big, I mean, I guess we would choose a charity to give to. <laughs> if that means anything. Fuck that! Bad. I live off that money. I have no problem living off the money, put it that way. The money would be nice. <laughs> it's mm, just the, uh, yeah, true, right? it's just community right. I'd be worried about because I'm sure you'd get a lot of pricks with that amount of people. Of course. I mean, uh -huh. I think about it. Five million subscribers, that's literally like. That's like everyone on the planet. <laughs> oh yeah, just just add a few billion there, you'll have it. <laughs> oh yeah, well you know I'm an American. I'm just talking about the U.S. Oh, of course. Even five billion. There's no, there's nowhere outside the U.S. 
eight billion. No, there's nowhere else besides that. Yeah. Besides the USA. Mm, yeah. We're the greatest country in the world. Uh, they have, they have, they have narrowed down the fucking leader of your country to two of the worst candidates they possibly could have. Well done. Exactly. Yeah, we're fucking, we're, we're badass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, um, yeah, so thanks for that question, Space Blazer. Very nice. Um, so the next question, here we go. Here we go. This one... Oh, did I mention uh, I fucking hate this mission with a passion? Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I got the break dance and I just look down and I just see it. I got the break dance and you all think it was like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Alright, so... Pardon my name pronunciation for this next question, because I'm not quite sure how to pronounce this, so I'm just going to go Ninja... ONC. On Ninja ONC. ONC. My good friend, Ninja ONC. Ninja ONC. Yeah. Okay, so this next question is by Ninja ONC. Um, so, <laughs> this question starts off great. Even though you hate... And guess what? This is the only question with two likes. <laughs> I guess they know you. Even though you hate it, what is your favorite part? Of the game that shall not be named. Um, okay, okay. Let me get this out of the way. I've never finished the last frontier. Yeah, I've fucking. I'm <gasps> always shitting. I'm always shitting on it. A true fan. I, I'm what? Triggered. I don't a let. I don't a let's play of the last frontier, right? And I never finished it. That's as far as I got. That's the first time I played it, and that's as far as I got. It was a live stream as well, and that's why I didn't get too far because it just looked like shit. Uh, I want to go. I want to redo it though. Um, I've never finished it, but as far as I did get, it was like one of the last missions I'd done, and it was in like, it would remind me of the volcanic crater, the volcanic part of Jack Tree, where you're going through the volcanoes and shit, and you get on the, on the fluff float, or whatever they call it now, leapers, and, um, yeah, it reminded me of that, and I really enjoyed it, I even said it in the, I even said it in the Let's Play, I was like, oh, I really enjoy this, this is more like it, I wish the rest of the game was like this, instead of fucking flying around and shooting things, like if, not Jack. Um, and yeah, I really, if the game was like that the whole time, I would have really enjoyed it more, I think. But I haven't finished it yet, so maybe the best of the game does get like that, and maybe I'll end up enjoying it. But, um, yeah, that's probably my favorite part of The Last Frontier. My favorite part was when Keith so told far. me that he buried his copy in his backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Still to this so, day, um, never to be told. I've Physically, I've never played it at all. Never, not once. I don't plan to, but if I ever did, I'd probably say my favorite part of the game will be when I finally can take a deep breath, finish the game, and turn it off, and never play it again. Oh my god. Because it, it's just probably just knowing me already, and if it's not like anything like the original 3, I'm just not going to really care for it. So, it'll remain on my shelf as an ancient relic that um, you just keep locked away like as if it was in an Uncharted game, and it'll release evil if you ever fucking look at it again. So. Did you just say as if it was an Uncharted game? As if it was an Uncharted Relic. Oh, it releases okay. evil if okay. you ever fucking unleashed hell again. Oh, what am I doing? But anyway, um, yeah, actually I was- oh, I forget what I was gonna say, I had a point there. Oh my god, it's gone, it was a really good point as well, god fucking damn it. Alright, moving on. Next thing, Thanks for your question, um, thanks for your question, um, Ninja. And yeah, hopefully you could work again. If you, Ninja and Steve's the guy that was in the crew video we done. So. Ah, yes, yes, I've heard about you. <laughs> We've heard about you. I've heard about you. Oh, no, no, I know what I was going to say now. Um, me and Nick, we were actually talking about this the other day, and we were like, yeah. Uh, and we were thinking of ideas for Let's Plays, and this is the one. And uh, I was going to play through The Last Frontier. And uh, I want to play through the PS2 version because, oh my. But um, oh my god, I'm back here. But um, <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Oh, now it's gone again. Oh yeah, yeah. And I went to buy. It. I was like, okay, I'll get the PS2 version. Right, I've never played PS2 version. I've only played it on PSP. So um, I went to Amazon to buy it. Right, fifty nine ninety nine. So that's that out right. the window. Um. It's fucking probably it's rare on PS2 apparently, so um, yeah, I, I, ain't, I ain't breaking the bank to buy a game that I won't like, or probably won't, most likely won't like. It's ten dollars more than The Witcher Three. <laughs> Jesus. Um, and for the contrary, to buy a new sealed Jack and Daxter one, it's nine ninety nine. So um. I thought it was. Huh. I thought it was twenty. 
Oh, was it? Oh, it was probably 1999. I don't know. I don't remember. But, um... Oh, my God. I'm not good at this mission. But, yeah, thanks for your uh, comment, Ninja, and see your question. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that. There's okay, a Jack 2 so, flashback? Uh, yeah, because someone commented on that. Uh, I think it was Space Blazer and said that there's a Jack 2 flashback. There is? Yeah. Oh. Is there? Yeah, that's 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 what he was replying to. That's interesting. I didn't know that's there was. That's very interesting. That is interesting. That makes me want to play it. Yeah. That makes me want to play it. J just for that part. Just to see what it was. <clears throat> I'm just trying to figure out how they would tie something into Jack 2. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe we were wrong about the game all along. Who maybe. Knows? Well, maybe we'll find out one day. But anyways, let's check over Dark Dark. Nah, that's not a question. That's not a question. But he still commented John B. Slayer, so he still commented. So, props to you, man. <laughs> well done. Next. Well done, John Next. B. Slayer. I know this who that one's is. From He's my cousin. So that's why Andrew. it's a weird problem. You just saw my mouth flapping uncontrollably there because we caught things out because Nick was being a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. So, uh. From not so ordinary in games. Uh huh. Um. We know this Our person good friend. very well. Yeah, so he's, in the, he's the person who's done the Jack Theory with us. Yes. So, he said, Q and I. I, like a pirate. I. I you love those. I love those, matey. I love those, matey. Okay, if you still haven't finished the Lost Frontier, what's stopping you? Afraid that disappointment would kill you? Um, aside from that, um, I am finished because I just don't have the will, and I was as I said, I was streaming it for the first time. That was the first time I was playing it. I get all my reactions raw, and I was like, then I just I didn't just didn't have the will to play anymore. But I was like, yeah. I don't want to mm -hmm. play this. And uh, it was because I was streaming as well. I just didn't want to go through the hassle. It's like, my internet can't handle streaming. And then you want to have people there to stream it, so you have to wait there for an hour before you can actually play it, so you can get one viewer. And I am doing terrible at this mission, by the way. I'm already dead again. But, um... Uh, Jesus Christ. Jesus. Fucking Jesus. But yeah, I, I, again, I have, that's the reason I haven't finished it. And uh, I, I do want to get around to finishing it. I might just continue the Let's Play or start it again using the PSP emulator. Um, because that'd be the easiest way to record it, and yeah, that that I probably will. If people want it, I'll do it. If you don't, if there's not demand for it, I won't. But if there is demand for it, I will. So yeah, pick your poison. Mm, and once again, I've never played the Lost Frontier, so I can't really say what I'm afraid of in that game. I think it's just everything about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then we have uh, our last question. By JC. It's not really a question, but it's an honorable mention. JC. Laughing my ass off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this vid made me cry of laughter. P.S. If Nick isn't available for your videos, you can always Why cheat on me, me baby, by adding me in one of those videos, of course. Listen, honey, you don't know whose tree you're barking up. Keith is my bitch. He ain't cheating on me with nobody, okay? If he's doing this with with anybody else, it's called nobody. There, I said it. Shots fired, bitch. Thank you, thank, thank, thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, those are the questions, Keith. We have nothing else to talk uh, about. Yeah, check Facebook <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah, that's that, that's that. I mean, I can't really... I don't know. How about I ask you some very interesting <laughs> questions? God knows about what the fuck these are. About my personal life. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'll just leave out all the details. Uh, what? We can work out the tiny details <laughs> later. <laughs> oh no, oh no, um. <laughs> yeah, I'm putting you on the spot here, Keith. I'm putting you right on the spot. Why oh, did you say that to. Oh, man. Oh, we're back here. This is a terrible fucking gameplay episode. It's a nice commentary episode, though. 
Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, Keith, here's the first question. I'm tired with this. Like I said, we can work out the tiny details later, but this is my revenge for putting me on the spot with the goddamn Australian prank joke. <laughs> if so, you haven't seen that, go watch it. It's incredible. Yes, it is. It's amazing. My reaction's amazing. So, it's on the channel. anyway, this is my first question, Keith. Is it true? <laughs> Uh, if you know it's it. true, don't ask me, alright? Oh, I don't know it's true, because you've never told me this before. Oh, okay. Is it true that you were one time getting down with your business? What? <laughs> and? Ow. You got... You were... Let's say you were making pancakes. You know... Oh. Okay. You were making pancakes. Okay. And somehow, when you were squirting the bottle... You somehow managed to get some syrup on your face. <laughs> I'm laughing like a fucking horse eight-year-old. <laughs> With lung cancer. Uh, can you stop avoiding the question? Is it true? <laughs> you know it's true. I told you like ten times. Why would you ask me if that's true when you know it's true? Because it's just so fucking hilarious every time I fucking I fucking bring it up because we both giggle like little schoolgirls <laughs> over syrup. Yes. Syrup. Yes. It's true. Nick. So another question. So another question for you. Very deep and dark secret. Dark. So dark that it reaches to the very essence of Keith. Have you ever? Have you ever did the diddly bop to a Jack and Daxter character? <laughs> what the fuck? Um, no, hey, because I, that, I'm that, in, that's I'm quite creepy. Hard-hitting news. That, that's quite creepy, actually. So no. Um, I'll do that. No, no. I don't think I've ever. No. I had to think for no, a sec there, and that's quite scary. <laughs> you had to go back and see if you yeah. did it as a child. Mm -hmm. Good answer. Good, good answer, I guess. Any answer is good, doesn't matter. Um, What's wrong with you today? So, nothing's wrong with me today. What's it run? Nicholas, what's it run? This is the type of shit we need to do with these videos. I actually <laughs> talk as if we were talking. <laughs> you, so, I'm gonna do that. You are the Nicholas Sarkozy on you. <laughs> No, right now I'm Scott Steiner. Oh, yes, you are Scott Steiner. <laughs> People have no idea what the fuck we're on about here. These are all inside it's, jokes. It's fine. That's the best part about it all. That's the best part at all. Oh, uh, that, 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 I'm fucking retarded. Um, uh, so, oh. <sighs> so let's see, let's see. Let, let me think about, about another crazy, crazy, crazy question. A really crazy question. Is it true, Keith, that you and I are working on a super secret project. I have multiple. Of amazing proportions. Multiple. Multiple super secret projects. Well, I'm working on one, but we're both working on another one. So, there you go. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, you know. I only work on what I'm interested in, so... <laughs> there Fucking you go. fascist. Exactly. So... See, that's ah. why me and Baron Praxis get it so well. How is he settling in? Uh, he's on my MySpace. <laughs> That oh, made no sense! I like, mean, how's he settled into your house and the joke and you just like completely wrecked the joke? <laughs> exactly. I mean, what exactly. the fucking American man? Oh, I just farted. Oh, this is oh, that was nasty. this is horrendous. This is like the worst thing we've ever done. <laughs> Why do you think it's the worst thing you've ever done? Because it's actually me. <laughs> it's actually me. I'm not acting like a reporting fuckwad. When would you ever act like that though? Ah, you know. Here and there, every you act like that on your own channel. channel. Yeah, I do. I oh know. my I god, I'm dead again. Oh, stop dying, Keith. Oh, oh. I'm not dead. Uh, and then laugh if you got shot like one second later and you blew up. <laughs> so, uh, I'm so bad yeah, at this. Yeah, I need to think of some really, 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 really good questions here. Let's see. 
So we have one question from a fan that just popped up on your video because I'm still looking at the screenshot and somehow it just updated because, you know, I'm genius like that. Anyways, um, we have a new question from Jimbino Momimo. <laughs> um, Thanks for your support. He said, he said, I absolutely fucking hate your videos. You need to go burn in a ditch and die, you stupid slave Irish man. Seriously, can you go kill yourself, please? Bye. Is Don't this, call this number back. Is this Jacob? Who's Jacob? Jacob Who's Jacob? Who's Jacob? Doesn't Jacob. Jacob who? Jacob Harvey. Jacob Harvey? Yeah, yeah. It, it is. It must be. Oh my god, I've done it! I don't know how I did it, but I've done it. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay, so now we can see... They must die. Things die. Spo triggered. Spoiler alert. Triggered. Jesus. Well, Jack's about to get triggered. <laughs> oh god. Trigger. <laughs> we gotta ruin this scene for everyone. You know what? Let's just go on because this is the next next one. It's gonna last like two seconds. Oh my god. We could like make this last episode. No, we won't. We won't do that. Next no, episode's last no, episode. Last episode's gonna be special. Yeah. Should we make this the last mission we do? Though? Yeah, this is gonna be the last one. But go on, go on, hurry up with your commentary questions. Okay, commentary questions. Okay, this one's gonna be really, really, really in-depth. Is it true that your sister's a poor- No, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> if you would've said that, I swear to fuck, I would just delete everything. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, good, I cut my tongue on that one. Yeah. Okay, um... So, um... Is it true that you are an aspiring musician? Oh, absolutely, just go back and look at my resume of my Horseburger song and, um... Annie son. Um, Annie. Oh, Annie. Stop wrecking my son, you're destroying it. But um I, Yeah, I go back and watch those videos and see how, how talented of a musician I am. I'm incredible. I, I would fucking run Nick through I, I could run Nick through fucking guitar playing boot camp. Yeah, it's so totally true. Mm -hmm. yeah, he has a style for picking that's legendary. I think it's called Fucking Jimi Hendrix has nothing on me, man. Oh yeah. Yeah. So last question, um, well not really a question, just something for you to talk about. So I hear in the neighborhood that someone got you into Dragon Ball Z and you fucking love it. It was the, it was the, uh, it was the local DBZ dealer. Ah, yeah. Yeah, and he got me, he got, he got me, he hooked me up, you know, and uh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm addicted, I, 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 I need to go DBZ head. And uh, just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know. mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I'm a DBZ fan myself. But, uh, um, anywho, I think this cuts it, this ends it. Love this cutscene to death. Just bit, look yeah. how good, look how good this fucking cutscene looks today. Today! 2016! 10 years later! It still looks as good as a fucking PS4 game. Actually, it's more like 12 years later. Well, fuck up! Jesus Christ! So good. This game is so good. Sorry. Keith's having a mini orgasm <laughs> right now. <laughs> Look how good this looks. You know what the sad thing is? Is it even still looks good, even though I'm looking at it through another screen. It still looks amazing. Oh my god, I love this cutscene so much. Ooh. Yep, definitely top-notch shit right there. Best cutscene Jack history, in my opinion. It's like seven minutes long, uh, so I'm not gonna play the whole thing. I know. Are we gonna sit here and watch the whole thing? No. Is that how we're doing? Uh, so yeah, thank thank you for everyone for their incredibly lovely comments and uh, questions. <laughs> um, yeah, enjoyed that. I enjoyed doing that. It was a very laid back episode, and I really enjoyed um, giggling and shitting with you all. And um, yeah, we'll see you. We'll see you when we see you. Yes. Yeah, basically what Tired Keith over there is trying to say is thank you fuckers for the comments and have a nice goddamn day. Have a nice day! Bang bang!